On today's video, we're going to talk about ice fishing flasher basics. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And today I thought maybe I could go over some of these uh, ice fishing flasher basics. And you know, before we go out on the ice, I thought maybe we'd talk about some of the controls that are on this unit. This is a Vexilar, this is an FL8. It's, it's, uh, it's a pretty old one. I think I've had this about 19 years. It's really a good unit. Um, it's been around for a long time, this style and type, and, and it really works good. Anyways, so we'll go over the basic controls of that a little bit. Okay guys, just a quick overview of some of the controls and components. We've got our transducer here. This is where the sonar waves come out of. Go down into the water, reflect back, uh, give you indications uh, if they bounce off of anything. Bottom, fish, your lure, whatever. Here is your on-off switch, but it's also a scaling switch. And what that does is if you turn it this way, if you turn it to that white number one, that means you're working off this white outside scaling on your display. If you turn it over here to this yellow number one, that means you're working off of this inside yellow scale. And the one, two, four on either side are multipliers. So if you're on the one on either side, it's just straight up. If, it's, if you're on the one yellow, that means if you're getting a mark right here, that mark is coming in at about five feet. If you're getting it here, 10 feet, and so on and so forth. If you go over to the two, again, this is a multiplier. And now if you're getting a mark right here at this, what would be a five foot mark, it's actually multiplied with this, and you actually would be getting a reflection off of something at 10 feet. If you go to the four, four yellow, again, you're on the yellow scale, and the four is the multiplier. So if you're getting a mark here at this five foot mark, and you're on the four yellow scaling, you're actually getting a mark or a reflection back from something at 20 feet. So just kind of keep that in mind. And the purpose of that is you just kind of set your scaling for the appropriate depth or the appropriate area that you're fishing. Um, right here we have a gain. And all we're going to do with that is we're going to basically turn this up just enough to see what we want to see, whether it's our lure, fish, bottom, that sort of thing. And again, we're going to get into this more out on the ice. It's just a little easier to show you the controls here uh, when we're in kind of a climate controlled area. We have our battery indicator. We're charged fully. Just tells you, uh, you know, if you need to recharge your battery. Battery's back here. You'll want to disconnect one of these leads when you're not using it. That way your battery indicator won't even be draining just a, a little bit of juice out of it. And this IR button, um, pay no attention to that. Um, nobody knows what that does, not even the manufacturer. So don't even worry about the IR button. So anyways, just want to give you a quick little uh, overview of the controls. And again, we're going to talk about things and we're going to uh, put this into the water and, and show you how it really works. And then I also thought I'd show you guys how I transport this around. I actually put it in this bag when I carry it around. And when I set it in this bag, it actually sinks a little deeper than I like. So I've actually got this foam rubber in the bottom. Just to kind of add a little space to it. And this just kind of sits in there like that. And that's how I transport it around with this handle. And what that allows me to do is just carry some different items with me, uh, some tackle with me, and maybe we'll talk about that a little bit. First of all, uh, you know, tackle boxes, right? I got my walleye box, I've got my panfish box, depending on what I'm fishing for. And then a uh, couple other things, right? We got our pick for out on the ice when it's, you know, maybe not super thick yet. It's kind of handy to have that pick around. I keep some different tools in here. Might have to unhook a fish maybe, right? You never know, you might catch one. Jaw spreader, tape measure, knife, clippers, that sort of thing. And in here, I actually keep cod liver oil pills. Um, 
A lot of times when I'm jigging for walleyes, I'll squirt one of these on the lure. And uh, I don't know, I think it helps sometimes. Just a set of pliers handy. And uh, this is more for when I'm bluegill fishing. I got some little uh, gulp grubs that I keep right in here too. So it's kind of handy as I'm going around hole hopping, which I usually do when I'm walleye fishing or fishing for panfish. I'm usually hopping around hole to hole, carrying this with me, carrying a pole, carrying this. So I got, uh, I got some of my tools with me. Got some more cod liver oil pills in here. I got some tools with me. I got my tackle with me. Um, got some of these uh, depth charges, right? You've seen them. And this, you probably recognize this as like a minnow scoop, but I actually don't use this uh, for minnows. I like to keep this and carry it around with me when I'm hopping hole to hole. A lot of times what happens is I'll get a little skim ice on the holes while I'm not fishing them. So I come up to a hole with a little skim ice on it and I can just kind of pop it and I'll actually scoop that uh, ice off there. So instead of carrying around a big skimmer with me as I'm hopping hole to hole, I just carry this little one that fits right on here and it's generally uh, good enough for what I'm trying to do. You know, you're only going to get a little bit of ice uh, when you're going around hole to hole. I'm not letting these holes sit for hours at a time. So, so this works real good when I'm just going around hole to hole. And like I say, that's the setup that I take around as I'm walking around and fishing. But uh, hey, let's, uh, let's head out on the ice and uh, we'll put the uh, transducer down in the water and I'll show you exactly how this thing works. Well guys, we're out on the ice and one of the first things we want to do before we drop the sonar down in the hole is set our float up high enough to make sure that our transducer gets below the bottom edge of the hole. We don't have a whole lot of ice, so that's not going to be a problem today. So guys, we'll turn this unit on. We put it on to the white one scale so we're dealing with this outside white scaling our multiplier is one and we've got a good solid return coming in at around 10 feet so that's going to be our bottom if we were to flip it over to the two multiplier we should get a good solid reading at the five just like i explained earlier two scale two white scale so the outside scale we're getting a mark at five but the multiplier is two so bottom's at 10. So we'll go back to the one. Got our good mark at right around 10 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop down this jigging Rapala. That'll give us a good solid return. And there you can see it slowly dropping as I'm lowering it down. And there, I'll stop just off bottom. And that's me jigging it. And then if, if there was a fish down there, we'd probably see him between our lure and the bottom. Uh, most of the time the fish will look like they're coming up right off the bottom. But really what's happening is they're coming off to, from the sides. And when a fish is off to the sides, it takes uh, the, the sonar takes a little bit longer to return off of things from the sides. So the register is a little deeper, you know, a little further away from the center of the sonar. So a lot of times if you're going to see a fish, it's going to look like it's rising right off the bottom but a lot of times that's just fish coming in from the side so our gain our gain is set way down got a good solid bottom here uh, the IR button again uh, nobody knows what that does not even the manufacturer and you know basic unit like this will give you bottom it'll give you fish and uh, it'll show your lure and really, for my money, that's uh, that covers about 99% of what a guy needs to do out on the ice. So remember, hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Thanks for watching, and God bless.